Welcome to this QuickBooks 2020 tutorial for beginners on how to enter transactions directly into your register. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk primarily about your check register. So your checking account or your bank account, because oftentimes you can go and enter things directly into that register and avoid having to go to, you know, write checks or things of that nature. All right. But, you know, I want you to understand that if you go to the chart of accounts over here and you double click on anything. So let's say it's this Capital One credit card. This is the register here. So you can go directly to the credit card register and enter transactions directly in this register as well. All right. So you can do it for any account in your chart of accounts. All right, so I want you to be aware of that. All right, so let's first go to the home screen over here. And you're going to see uh, you've got this option right here. It says check register. Okay, so when are you going to do this? Typically, you're going to go and enter things directly in the check register for uh, debit card transactions, ACH, things of that nature. But you can also go and enter checks that were written uh, by hand that you need to record in your check register. Okay, so I click on here and you see it says Euro checking. We're gonna go to the regular checking and click okay. All right, so this is the check register. This is just like if you had a, you know, a handwritten checkbook and you have where you write in uh, all this information, the date, who it was to, the amount, what it was for, etc. cetera. Uh, this is the same thing. It's just a check register electronically within QuickBooks, all right? So let me show you a couple things here. You'll see there is a, an option down here that says one line. All right, so I can click this and it's gonna show one line. Personally, for me, I think it's easier to read this way, but it's, it's totally up to you. All right, so we're gonna uncheck this so that you can see the full, uh, full detail here. All right, so let's say that we had a, uh, you know, a debit card transaction. You know, we went to the store. You'll see here when I tab over, we've got the date. I tab over to this field and this is the number. So if you handwrite a check, and you need to enter it in QuickBooks, you can go here and put in the check number right here. Now, because this was a debit card transaction, I'm going to put in EFT. That is my preference uh, to record electronic transactions, regardless if it's ACH or debit. Uh, again, that's just my personal preference. All right. Now, the payee, you can choose who the payee is here. We'll say that this was Costco. All right. We went there. We got supplies and um, we got to record this now. All right, so let's say that this was $225. So you're going to put in the amount. You can see that this column is the payment and this column is the deposit. All right. All right, so now we have to choose the account. All right, so the account I'm going to say is going to be office supplies. All right, and we can put in a memo if you want to, if you want to describe what you purchased at Costco. You don't have to. Now, at this point, what you can do is you can just put record, and it's going to record this in the check register. All right. Now, I do want to show you this, though. You can go to splits, and if you need to split this transaction between two different accounts or three different accounts, basically more than one account, you can hit splits and record the different accounts here. Now, you would do this when... Uh, let's say you went to Costco and it was two different things that you purchased. Okay, so let's say it was office supplies uh, 125 and the other item, let's say, was um, for some reason, let, let's say you had to renew your membership while you were there. You say dues and subscriptions, 100 bucks. All right. Now, what you can also do in this uh, view here is you can assign this to a customer or job. You can make it billable and you can put in a class, all right? You don't have to, but you do have that option directly in the check register. Okay, we can click close, all right? So you'll see here now it says split, and that's because it's split between two, trans two accounts. And if you wanna see it again, you just do this, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna record. Okay, so now we have this transaction recorded in the register 225. And what you'll notice is if I double click on this line, it takes me to the check. All right, so basically this was a uh, check in QuickBooks lingo that was recorded and put directly in the register. So you can get to the same place by going to banking, 
write checks and fill out all this information just like this and it'll put it directly in that register. All right, so I'm going to save and close and you'll see it's still in the register. Okay, so the important thing to remember here is that you can go directly to the register to record a number of transactions, whether it's credit card charges, uh, banking charges, handwritten checks, uh, etc. There's a, a lot of things that you can record there. Now, if, if you're not that familiar with accounting, I would be a little bit careful going into some of these other registers and just recording things. All right, for example, accounts receivable, because there is a process you want to follow to record payments from customers. Uh, same thing with, you know, building and improvements and some of these other ones. Generally, you're going to use this for uh, credit card charges and banking uh, transactions. All right. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment, leave a question below. Head over to the QuickBooks University. You can discover so much more there uh, that really has helped out a lot of business owners as well as bookkeepers uh, over the years. The website there is qbuniversity.org.